We are hearing this evening from some in the local Somali community who feel they are under increased scrutiny ever since two of their own were caught trying to get to Syria to join jihadists fighting for the Islamic State. Two of the three girls recently intercepted in Germany and returned to the States were sisters who are Somali. Nine News reporter Maya Rodriguez joins us with what others in their community are saying. Maya? Yeah, well, Kyle, members of the Somali community say what the girls did should not reflect on all of them, but it has in what they say is a negative way. They added that needs to be addressed, which is why they're speaking out. Members of the Somali Community Center of Colorado sat down with NBC News to share what they say has been a whirlwind of shock for many of them. You see stuff like this on the news, and you're just like, oh, that's in another place. But, like, I was shocked because it's like, for once, it's like... And like where I live. Federal authorities say on October 17th, three Denver area teen girls were headed to Syria to join the terror group ISIS. They were stopped at an airport in Frankfurt, Germany, on their way to Turkey. 17 year old Liban Youssef and 14 year old Nemo Youssef both went to high school with the teens. You hear of it happening a lot of other places, so it just hit me that it could happen here too. We disagree completely with what they're doing. It's not Islam way. The vast majority of Somalis are Muslim. The country has been in upheaval for decades, and many Somalis have settled in the U.S., including Colorado, a home they say they want to protect. Extremism exists in every society, and, and we need to work all together to resolve this issue. As a community member, I want the Somali youth and students to feel uh, without leaving their cultural identity to feel that they are part and parcel of the of the general society you know it was so close to home like you know here you hear stuff like this going on like minnesota and stuff where there's like a huge population of you know you know like somalis but you know this is it's denver colorado i wasn't expecting it to happen here it's easier to get into little kids heads you know like children because they don't understand if it's right, if it's wrong, so they can just tell them this is right and the kids will just follow. This phenomenon of ISIS, it's something very strange. I, I think it's more like a cult. It's more like uh, Jim Jones or David Koresh, where young people are manipulated and they just want to do this for adventure or for some other reasons. Now, this local group of Somalis also said parents need to be aware of what their children are listening to and seeing online because it's a tool that ISIS is using to recruit, as they saw with those three local teens. You can see more on this story along with these exclusive interviews on NBCNews.com. It certainly brings the whole situation home for us. Maya, thank you.